Hi, this is Dr. Francis Price, and we're going to demonstrate how to do Demake. This is a corneal scleral rim that's already had the central cornea removed with the microkeratome, basically the anterior cap, as you do in dissect. This 25-gauge needle is being placed in the peripheral sclera, going right underneath trabecular meshwork and decimase membrane. And as we inject air, you can see a nice central bubble form. And this is a big bubble, just like we would have with deep anterior lamellar procedures. You can see the bubble push out on the endothelial side, as well as on the stromal side, the stroma bulges out. We're now coating the side with endothelium with viscoelastic. We're using OcuCoat in this case, and also placing it in the base of the artificial anterior chamber. This is an artificial anterior chamber made by Moria. Now we're going to center this so that the big bubble is in the center. It goes out almost all the way to where the edge of the resection is with the microkeratome, but not quite. We're going to fixate it. And once we do that, then we're going to use a 15 degree blade to incise the stromal side of the big bubble. We're actually measuring the width of the big bubble now. Now when we incise it, we're going to try to make a fairly good cut. This is different than when you do it with a deep anterior lamellar. Because there's no back pressure on the artificial anterior chamber, decimase stays posteriorly. You get a nice separation, and then we like to put some vision blue inside the big bubble itself. That stains the edges of the big bubble, so that basically when you go around with the scissors, you can tell where the edge of the bubble stops so that you don't cut decimase membrane. If decimase membrane is cut while doing this, then you will not get it to attach once it's in the patient's eye. This shows the cornea after we've excised the central stroma. We're going to now detach it and put it on a cutting block. On the cutting block, we want to center it so that when it's cut with the tree fine, it includes some of the areas that have not been detached with the big bubble. On the recipient cornea, I like to always measure the horizontal corneal diameter. It gives us some idea of how much room we have for the donor. We're going to make a stab incision here and then fill the anterior chamber with air. Air gives us very good contrast when we're scoring and stripping decimase. And right now we're going to score all the way around. And then we're going to grab the edge where we scored with the hook. And without pushing on the stroma, we're going to pull off the decimase membrane, which has the guttata. After removing decimase, I like to put in tripan blue or vision blue, and that will stain all the areas that may have loose tags of decimase so that we can remove them now. This is a bimanual INA where we're taking out the excess air. We're now going to go around with the aspiration tip and remove loose tags of decimase. These are intraocular scissors that we're going to now go in and make an iridotomy inferiorly at 6 o'clock. Now, one wants to make just not the iridotomy, but to also go in with the bimanual INA and remove loose pigment epithelium. That will help minimize the chance of pupillary block. Here we're going to load the donor onto the boost and glide. Now, these donors are much thinner than the standard dissect donor because there's no central stroma, so it's a little bit more flimsy. The boost and glide helps curl it so that when it goes into the incision, this is a 3.2 millimeter keratome incision, that it's curled appropriately so that the endothelium is inward. You can see how easily this unfolds once it goes into the eye. 